the ultimate thrill ride. Well, unless your ripcord wraps around your neck and strangles you on the way down. This mess started as a tandem jump. It's this dude's first time. Mike Smith is the expert. Ronnie O'Brien is another experienced skydiver. He's filming this all from his helmet cam. It didn't look right to me. Um, I knew there was a problem. So Ronnie moves in for a closer look. Um, it's about this stage. I've decided that nothing's happening and that the reserve's got to be pulled, so I'm going to have a go. You gotta love the British. The cord's wrapped around this guy's freaking neck, and old Ronnie's gonna have a go. Meanwhile, this poor dude don't even know he's in trouble. It's his first jump. What does he know? Yeah. That ground's coming up at him awful fast now. Ronnie's still searching for that cord, and then... <laughs> Ronnie comes through big time. And now the two guys are drifting a little slower. Instructor Mike comes too on the way down. I could then feel the bridle around my neck. And I began to remember then what had happened. And I thought, oh, well, we mu I must have pulled the reserve parachute. I had no idea that Ronnie had done it at that point. Mike says the last thing he remembers before the lights went out was the cord choking him. So I started to reach for the knife, which I kept on my trouser pocket. And at that point, I began to lose consciousness. And I don't remember anything from there on until I came to again underneath the parachute. Ronnie admits they were on the edge, but he says that don't make him a hero. I, I think a hero is somebody who has time to think about what they're doing and still reacts to it. I didn't have any time at all, and it was a fairly simple, straightforward thing. Um, I, I'm really not into all this heroism bit at all. But a few people feel differently, like the Queen of England, who gives him a medal. Instructor Mike's pretty grateful, too. I know that Ronnie doesn't feel very... that it's anything special that what he did, but I know for a fact that if he hadn't have been there, we would certainly have died. The biggest reward, really, was knowing that Mike and Richard were alive at the end of the day. Thanks for keeping that stiff upper lip, Ronnie, and thanks for wearing that helmet cam. <laughs>